Hi and welcome. This is Kelly and this is a completely different type of video from me. I don't go to the Dollar Tree that often. It's over in Bennington and to be honest I just always forget it. Um, dollar stores were always a favorite store of my late husband's and he used to make trips in there quite frequently. But my granddaughter said that I should do a Dollar Tree haul video. So that is what I'm going to do. I went in looking for some specific things um, and I did find some things that I was looking for. Like I wanted these little red uh, uh, mini tasses, mini cups, um, because I want to work with some resin and I wanted some small cups. So that was a pretty good find. Now everything in this dollar store is, in this dollar tree is a dollar. I know that some dollar stores are going up. And then I found these um, tool caddies and they're actually pretty good. And you pay a lot more for stuff like this in Joann's. So I thought this would be good for maybe some um, project kitting. And there's even a little um, ruler kind of there on the edge, which is pretty cool. So then I also found these, and these are facial scrubbers. And I don't know if you can see through the plastic, but there's different patterns there. And I thought these would be pretty cool as um, texture plates for polymer clay. So I picked one of those up. And then I also wanted to make some ring bowls, you know, some jewelry bowls. So I picked up one of these metal, little metal bowls um, to use as a polymer clay mold. Pretty cool. And I was looking for a care binder and I couldn't find one. And these things are like $8.99 in the hardware store. And as my granddaughter pointed out, these aren't as strong, which is true, but I'm not intending to haul a trailer or lift anything up into a tree with them. I just want something to organize stuff on. And this even has a nice little rubber grip along the one edge. Pretty cool find. And then I actually got three of these. One is down in my kitchen. I've already washed it. I thought it would make a, a good addition for measuring um, things as I make my cakes or gravies or whatever. It has a nice measure on the side. It is a Betty Crocker. Um, it's got the ounces over here and it has milliliters over here and it goes to a half a liter which is two cups. So pretty cool. And I got this because I have some um, beeswax that I want to make some beeswax um, smoothers for floss out of. I have a couple of molds so I got these to melt my beeswax. They're not bad for a dollar a piece. And as you might believe with all the stuff that I collect I was looking for some stuff to organize things on my desk. So here I got two of these which are just fold out organizers. They've got the little handle on them and they were a dollar a piece. Also a pretty good find. But wait, that's not it. There is more. I should probably take some of this stuff back off my table so it doesn't get in the way. Pardon my uh, lack of organization, but this is not the kind of video that I generally do. Let's see. Oh, these are good too. These are bigger organizer cases and they were also a dollar. So I picked up, oops, sorry, two of those. And they, I'll show you compared to the other one. This is the smaller one. Um, so it's a good buy. And I was watching Susan of Turtle Soup Beads and she picked up 
quite a few of these. I picked up two. Um, skeletons on pedestals. And they're just a cheap plastic. But I liked what she did with them. So I am going to do that too and use these as table decorations. So stay tuned. I may show you a video of my take on what Susan did. Because it was really pretty cool. Let me see. I'll take those out of the way. And then, just, I think, one more bag. Oh, along the theme of the skeletons, I bought a garland of these because I thought these might make kind of a cool swag on my front door. And I've seen people do different things with these, and usually it involves taking them apart and doing some interesting treatments on them. So I may do a video on that too. Not sure exactly what I want to do with these, but we shall see. And then I got a couple of little squeeze bottles um, to make for maybe glue or whatever. And I also got a bigger one of these. It's a collapsible storage container. And for a dollar, they're 10 and a half inches by 11 inches. So that's good. And then I got a couple of these binder pencil cases. They're clear. And they zip. So, and you know, that comes right out of it. So I figured these would make great little project bags um, to travel with. And I also found, also a jot, this zippered folder. It's not see-through, but it does have a nice sliding zipper on it. And it has a, a folder on the front of it that will hold, I don't know, a pattern and a project. It's kind of transparent. And then the project can go inside the uh, zippered envelope. So I was really pretty happy with that. I'll put this one in here. I'm dropping everything now. <sighs> So then, to go along with the binder thing, I also bought a green uh, plastic binder that I could, you know, put patterns in or even use it as a, a loose leaf journal. I thought that might be pretty cool. And, if you know, I have cats and dogs, and I've been using a tape. Um, I think I've got cat hair on it already. I've been using a tape, one of those tape lint rollers, and I thought this would come in handy because, you know, you, you wipe the hair up this way, and when you brush it the other way, it takes what you've gathered off and cleans itself. So that's actually reusable, which I like a lot. Oh, and Spike is going to try to come up, too. So this is something else I got to use with my polymer clay. And this is a pastry scraper. It's a nice, heavy metal one. And I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of glare on it right now, but there's actually a ruler along the bottom of it. And it measures out to six inches. So that's pretty cool. That could come in really handy with my polymer clay. And I bought one of these fluffy makeup brushes to use with, uh, to brush um, powders and stuff as I'm working with my clay. And I bought one of these. This, this is called a silicone facial mask applicator. I call it a great uh, silk screen uh, paint applicator. <laughs> and then I just bought 12 of these, a 12 pack of these little bowls, or little plastic bowls. 
I don't know what I'll use these for, but they might be good just to hold findings and stuff when I'm working on a project. And then there's these 12 little canapé dishes, which I think are really cute. They might come in handy too for pretty much the same thing. They might be good bead uh, organizers when I'm working on a project. And then I got these. They're just little plastic spoons. There's 24 of them. And I thought they could come in handy um, mixing um, liquid polymer clay or, I don't know, I'm going to try them with resin, see how they work. But all pretty cool. And I think that just about shows you everything. So Jacqueline, I hope that you enjoyed my uh, dollar store haul. And this is the Dollar Tree in Bennington. And until next time, thanks for watching. Take